Welcome to episode 2 of the first Deadman tournament in almost a year. In the last video we finished DT in under 6 hours and managed to get these stats in the first 12 hours. It is still technically day 1 of the tourney, we have 12 hours today to progress as much as possible as well as the whole of tomorrow to become as strong as possible to start BKing. Our stats are going to have an insane transformation this video and we're going to start with getting piety on day 1. Alright, we're starting Shiloh Village, hopefully we can get it done quickly but I always have trouble with this quest, it's just too confusing. Okay, and this is Shiloh done. Time to go start one small favor, which is absolutely everyone's favorite quest. Okay, hopefully this doesn't take us too long. It's time to get our beloved quest, One Small Favor, started. Okay, so you know that part in One Small Favor where you have to replace all the gems and shit? So, I crushed all my red topaz gems, so I've literally had to waste time getting 40 mining, I have to go to Shiloh Village now and mine gems and hope that I get a red topaz. There are no other ones in the game and I don't think anyone's doing this yet, so I'm wasting one to two hours doing it, but I kind of have to. Okay, we got it. Please work. Please just... Yes, okay, thank god. Alright, we gotta kill this rock golem guy. Can I save spot it? I have no idea. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have tried killing him with 61 range, um, when he's not even weak to range, because that took forever. One small favor done, we're just gonna put these both on agility. Terrible quest. <clears throat> All right, and this is Black Knight's Fortress completed. Only a couple more until we get piety done. Okay, Black Knight had him done, no tier five, never lucky. All right, and this is Holy Grail completed. Now we only have to do Murder Mystery before we do, what's it called? Uh, King's Ransom. All right, and it's time to solve a Murder Mystery. Okay, and that is Murder Mystery done. I need 65 defense to complete King's Ransom, so we're gonna go do that really quickly. All right, I just got myself 65 defense. Let's finish up King. All right, we can finally get piety after we finish this quest. We just gotta do King's Ransom. All right, and this is King's Ransom done. We actually need to do the Night Waves and get ourselves 70 prayer as well. All right, and let's just teleport out of there because we don't want to get owned. 66 death, 75 strength, nice. I need to go get 70 prayer now. All right, we have like 20 minutes until the Gilded Altar is ready, so I'm just going to use this time to get the Mage Cape because I kind of forgot to do it. I haven't done it yet. My bad. Okay, are we going to get one hit as soon as we teleport back in? Please don't. Oh, God. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, we're not even getting the staff, dude. We're just peacing out. Bye. Okay, well, I just got 75 mage while alking. Um, we're heading off to Relica because we need to go get ourselves 70 prayer. Shout out the boy Frenchie as usual, hooking up the altar. Let's get 70 prayer. All right, that's 52 prayer. Okay, and that is 70 prayer. We have pi- wait, no, we don't. Why do we not have piety unlocked? What? Oh, I need- I need 70 adept. All right, we're gonna go try our luck chinning. I have no idea how this is gonna go because everywhere is being scouted, so it's a high possibility I'm gonna die. Okay, we're on to the black chins now. We've got a whole bunch of them and we're getting 7k XP drops right now. All right, that's our first trip done. Didn't get killed, surprisingly. Almost 80 range. We went from 62 to 79 range there. Very nice. We didn't get killed, so I'm gonna come back for another trip. Okay, another chin trip started. We have 450 chins over in 79 range. I'm hoping this gets us pretty high. I just got 18 super restores as a single drop. I still haven't got a single tier 5 this tourney, which is kind of depressing considering I've been chinning here a while now. But uh, hopefully our luck turns around. 18 super restores is really nice though. Alright, another chin trip done. We just got to 86 range. It's crazy to think we were like 62 range, like less than an hour ago. And we should be coming back for another trip because still haven't been attacked. Alright, we're back for another chin trip. I'm fairly sure I got scouted coming here, so we may die. I finally got a tier 5, man. It's been ages. Alright, that's my room pouch sorted, unless I decide to spend it on something else. But I think I'll just save it for the room pouch. Finally got a tier 5, though. Okay, now we're raking in the money. Another tier 5 emblem. We can use that for pure cash. That's two in one invent. Nice. Alright, and that is 90 range. Very nice XP rates here when you're chinning. Alright, we're back for another chin trip on 90 range. Another tier 5. This is what we like to see. The chins are really paying off now because we're making money off chinning. That's pretty crazy. Okay, I just got a champion scroll. I have no idea. I think that might be rare. So... I'm not picking it up, but yeah, cool. All right, 92 range, halfway to 99. 70 defense really quickly. Just got myself 70 defense really quickly while I ate my dinner and drank some energy drinks. We are now, if I can do the maths right, 12 plus... Eight. We are 20 hours in to the Deadman tournament. It's still day one. Here are the stats, 93 range. We still have a bunch more chains. I'm going to go through them right now. But for day one to be this far ahead, I am quite, kind of proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. I'm a fucking loser, but I'm proud of myself. And we get scouted in the MM1 tunnels. It's probably time to get out of here for now. 
Okay, well, I almost just got smoked in the MM1 tunnels. Can't train past 93 range right now. We do have three tier 5 emblems, which I'm just going to go trade in. It's free GP, and it should be able to give me some alks. So I'm going to go train my melees while also alking at the same time. Maximum efficiency, 4.5 mil points. I'm going to get myself a rune pouch as well. I'm going to get it eventually, and I don't want to leave it till when I could possibly not get it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to buy these skims with the rest of this. Just alk them for money, and we're going to get training. Alright, we just got 79 magic and 80 strength. We still have 1.4k nats to go. After I'm done training some melees and using these nats, I might go check if I can finish off the rest of my chins and potentially go burst. Alright, we are 23 hours, 40 minutes into the Deadman tournament. 20 minutes till day one is over. No, I have not slept. Yes, I am a loser. Here are the stats. We just got ourselves 85 strength, 93 range, 70 def, 78 attack for the VLS, obviously. 88 HP and 82 magic. Now, as I said, we are planning on PKing day three. And as it's only just started day two, we have a whole 24 hours to get these stats as high as possible. I'm honestly thinking we could be like 118 CB, maybe 120 CB day three, absolutely tearing through everybody. Anyway, 24 hours, we gotta get these stats up. I'm definitely gonna get 94 mage and get my range up a little bit. 83 magic, 10 minutes before day two starts. 86 strength going good. Uh, we have 400 more nats to go. We're not alking as efficiently as we should be. Then we'll probably go try and chuck some chins and throw some bursts. Okay, 24 hours in and we've decided for some reason it's a good time to go chin again. Let's see how this goes. Alright, that's 94 range. We're probably going to get 95 and then we're going to start chinning on defensive just to boost our defense a little bit compared to everyone else. Alright, and that is 95 range. We're going to put it on long fuse now and just see how much defense levels we can get and if we can get to 96 range or not. Archaic Emblem, baby. Another tier 5. Let's go. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, and that is officially our chins over on Deadman. We have no more reason to chin anymore. 96 range. We'll get 99 range just through PKing. We're only like 25 hours into the 20 and we're 96 range. It's not that big a deal. Alright, another tier 5. That is what we like to see. Dude, I just got another tier 5. 88 mage. Fucking... Bro, I got another tier 5. We're fucking gaming. Alright, 89 mage. It's going really quick bursting. And we're getting an emblem like all the time, which is really nice. Okay, and this is 90 mage. Four more levels. Burst in is so quick. And we get emblems pretty much every time. Alright, 91 mage. I'm thinking we'll get 92 on the same inventory as well. Hopefully we can get a tier 5 emblem, which will fund our 93 and 94. Alright, that's 92 mage. Two more levels. I think we can get it in this inventory as long as we get some good XP drops. And we don't get rushed by a bunch of people. So the most efficient way to train mage would be to alk while training my melee so I get both stats up faster in the long run. However, I haven't slept. I don't really feel like clicking twice 6,000 times or whatever it is to get 94 mage. Ice bursting at MM1 skeletons is a lot more relaxed apart from the paranoia of getting rushed. I also make loads of money back from the tier 5 emblems and I think complaining about my emblem luck at the start of the video really helped me out there. I also get HP XP from bursting and it's just a faster way to 94 mage as well, which is why I'm doing this because I do get some comments sometimes wondering why I'm doing something instead of the other. 93 magician, we're not going to have enough runes to get 94 in this inventory, but it should get us fairly close and we can just finish up 94 later. Okay, we're like 296k off 94 mage, we are around 4 hours 45 minutes into day 2, so 30 hours around in total into the tournament, and I have not slept at all. I'm a certified loser, I've basically just got 94 mage, so I'm going to use this opportunity to go get some sleep, and in the morning we will see where we stand. Alright, we're back, had a nice little 4 hour nap, first time we slept in the tournament, probably a good idea, stats are obviously the same, but we've just taken a 4 hour nap, we're just going to alk the rest of our 94 mage right now, while also doing a little bit of AFK training, it's currently 9 hours into day 2, so we still have loads of time to get ahead, get training, and get prepared to PK. So let's get 94 mage and let's alk up a little bit. All right, that's 80 def. We're just gonna switch over to attack to get uh, 80 attack as well. All right, and that is 94 mage. We are nine hours into day two of the tournament. So 34 hours into the tournament in total. King's Ransom done, Piety done, DT done. Um, our stats are looking really good. Everyone else who's been PKing on the tournament is definitely far behind in terms of stats. And a lot of the PKers won't even have Piety. All we have to do now is really AFK train while I edit this video and just in general. And when we start PKing, we're going to be further ahead than any other PKer at that point. We're going to have a VLS, a zero staff, everything we need to get good kills. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you are new. 
Deadman Mode PKing content starts from tomorrow's episode.